So yeah, if you're kind of familiar with AI and what it's doing, it's uh, there's some scary stuff happening right now with AI. And there's some cool stuff. And for most of you, you may just be familiar with you know the app on your phone that can populate images and you can go and chat GPT and you can ask it questions and it'll answer just like a Google or something like that. But it does a lot more than that. And it's, it's getting really, really important. It's just getting to the point where we're looking at losing a massive amount of jobs that the human race isn't ready for this. The estimates can range anywhere from 40 to 90% of jobs in the world will go away in the next five years. I've written my entire life. All of my stories and all my books are my own writing. I have poured hundreds upon hundreds, if not thousands of hours into books in order to write these. Obviously, I've seen guys go online and I've seen a guy that just spams AI writing over and over and over again. He's made like published like 30 books in the last two years and people are buying them. People buy them and they give him reviews and he sells way more books than I do. I don't I, I really don't understand it. I read it and I'm like, this is garbage. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't flow. I, I, I don't understand. I don't understand how this guy is selling so many books and they're garbage books that are cooked up by AI that don't make any sense. When I write books that have symbolism and meaning and depth and I don't know, I just I suck at marketing, I guess, <laughs> honestly. But what I can say is this, AI is threatening more than just writers like me. Uh, we're talking about just sheer jobs. Think about this. Um, we can choose to pay a human writer or human artist instead of an AI one, right? We can choose that. But what about companies? I mean, companies on the back end that employ people uh, are basically starting to incorporate AI because it is greatly reducing their manpower. You can replace a team of 10 to 20 people with one person that just knows how to use AI to do all that stuff. Now, humans are adaptive. We're going to figure out new ways to earn money. And but I'm going to tell you the things that you think you can earn money at, they're going away too. Think you can always work in a warehouse? Nope. Those are some of the first ones going away. Machines are going to be able to take all your warehouse stuff, production stuff. The idea of dark warehouses where you have a warehouse that doesn't need any lights on because the machines just do anything. The only time you need to turn lights on is somebody walks in there in order to fix something. I was talking with a friend about that the other day. Uh, think that you can be a, a companion with somebody. People need companionship. No, people are getting AI companionship that mimics real human beings. The things you think you can do to make money, you're not going to be able to make money in anymore. And that's going to fundamentally change the human race quickly, really quickly. We are not ready for that. Uh, so what are we going to do? And I think that the civilization structure that humanity has always adopted outside of religious spiritual values is that your value is attributed to how what your contribution to society is. How well do you produce things that society needs? And if you can't produce those things, then you don't have a place. And when you don't have a place, history shows something very scary. When people don't have a place in society, um, governments tend to make them go away. And that's a real problem because, you know, or, or whoever's in power. So we're looking at this very sort of scary development. And the only way humanity is going to survive it is to have a real strong spiritual understanding of humanity that isn't going to be affected by this. Because without this, once your means of production goes away, your value goes away, I'm going to tell you, society is going to have a huge problem. In the next four to five years, you're going to see people just lose all meaning in life, all hope, apathy sets in. Um, people are going to demand basic income like UBI. Uh, they're going to demand uh, entitlements because they can't live without those. And people, because they don't know how to adapt and there is no system to help them adapt. And even if they did, so many people are going to lose value in society because they're not producing anymore. How many people are going to unalive themselves? And this is going to be a huge issue. So something for you to consider as we go into this brave new world, something for you to consider is your spiritual grounding. How do you talk with others? What value do you have in your soul? And how do you share that with others in order to get us through this? And, you know, where do you put your money? Where do you put your efforts? Where do you put your, your companionship? You know, are you turning to an AI bot in order to get that friendship? Or do you rely on a real person? The more you replace people with the, robot, with the machine, then the less important people become. And then eventually people disappear. It's just reality. So I wish it was different, but it's not. If you have different thoughts, you can put that below. That's perfectly fine. But, you know, those are mine. And that's what I'm thinking about right now. So thinking about solutions. I'm thinking about this all the time with my friends and myself. I think about myself, talking about people at work. It's on my mind. So if I have any more thoughts, I'll let you know. I'll share it with you.